shows you roughly how easy it is to recone one of these. This is part one. I'm taking this apart. Um, we're going to have to order a recone. But we're going to see how easy these are to recone. Uh, unfortunately, I blew this subwoofer at a competition, uh, pushing it beyond its limit and giving it dirty power. So, uh, not happy about the dirty power part, but the overall experience I am happy with. Uh, I will be taking this subwoofer on a journey now. I was pushing this because of this purpose. Uh, there was a guy who I met, um, who's a local guy in my city, uh, Josh, and he had to do a recone on his 15. It's a dual 4, mind you. But uh, anyways, he had to recone it. Well, when he did, he took it apart. He decided to paint his a uh, lime green, neon green, that color. Um, so when I seen that, I was like, that's really cool. Now, I didn't want to pull this up for a part brand new just because of that. But because taking this in a box and scuffing it out, scuffing it up a little bit here and there, uh, mostly on the screws, and this is just paint that actually rubs off. Um, but anyways, doing so, um, I um, seen that and decided I wanted to paint mine. Now, I seen a, a cool picture yesterday or the day before, uh, hydro dipping, uh, I think is what they called it. Um, but regardless, uh, it looked like uh, all kinds of splatter, not how the American colors, all that kind of stuff of the flag. But uh, the concept was actually really cool. Um, so I am thinking of going with an orange. I might go with a fluorescent orange just because it'll make the uh, speaker glow maybe inside of a plexiglass enclosure or a lot of plexiglass. I have not decided yet because plexiglass is very costly, mind you. So is wood right now. So I'm kind of tossing it up between the two of them and working on either A, a second one, or B, to recone this one, clean it all up, paint it a cool color, and be able to sell it so I can afford a SPLX. Um, so I'm just playing it right now by ear, what I prefer to do. I got lots of time because I'm not going to be able to afford one for a couple months anyways, hopefully before then, but we will find it. Oh soon enough um, but we're gonna find the damage at this end because I did push this very hard I had this smoke thing if you were at the show you seen it it was actually pretty cool um, I kept slamming it even when smoke I could have stopped it but I decided not to okay so those are all the screws that we have to take from the top of this Now there's a bunch of screws, I'm not sure if they're the same ones, on the underside as well. And they look like they are the same. Let me get that one back out. And now we will continue to remove all these. Now, there was a guy who I seen, I can't remember what his name was, uh, how to recone a uh, Orion. And he explains it pretty well. It's pretty, uh, pretty foolproof, to tell you the truth, uh, from the way that it goes. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Now, the screws are for the bottom. The short screws are for the tops. So, when you're in, be prepared to have to uh, know the difference between the two. So I'm glad I'm making this video because by the time that will come around, I'll forget. Uh, also, uh, what I'm noticing on these bottom ones is that there is Loctite. And not any Loctite on the uh, upper rings. So uh, another thing to note 
I will be putting the Loctite, obviously, as this looks like it is requested. Now, I only see a little dab, so we won't have to put too much on when we uh, reassemble. This is a dual two foam. I was trying to look into it to see if they make a dual one, but unfortunately they don't. Um, and if it's going to cost you that much for an ACCA, if I can use this motor and a cool idea um, to go with uh, flat wires, better coils, uh, the only thing I don't like about this speaker is that it's an 8 gauge, um, but you can't put uh, any connectors into it. You have to just straight straight into the inputs. I'm not happy with that because I did buy a dual 8 gauge um, to 4 gauge wires considering this thing takes that much power. Um, I'm sure there's 8 gauge that's out there that's really good OFC stuff so it technically would have just been overkill but just to see 4 gauge come off this bad boy would have been actually really cool. Now I don't believe I have a plastic A plastic piece up here because I heard that the ring on the top is very hard to ex extract and seeing that it's uh, a metal lip I would hate to uh, chip it even though I am going to be painting this um, and taking out all the scuff marks putting in what I need to um, to make it smooth and sanding it all nicely so she's all pretty again. Uh, the wear holes from taking the subwoofer out in and out of the box, the screw holes. Uh, I'm not too worried about those. The edge parts, yes, but I've been finding uh, certain bolts that I've been using for the heads um, uh, that they cover the wear from that. So not a huge deal. Okay, all of those are out. Yes, that is actually very hard to pull out. So we will need something to uh, pop these. I really don't want to use this, but I think I might because it does have a fine tip and see if we can go all the way around and clean it. I think I'm going to use this butter knife. Yep. So you can actually get it just underneath between the black and the red and just lightly pry. So I'm not sure what Buddy was having difficulties on. Maybe he's just over paranoid with it. Oh no, it chips. It does chip. The last one I just pulled a bit. Anyways, so there's the ring. Very cool. Pop the rubber seal all the way around. jammed up we're gonna have a problem but I forgot one screw thankfully that's what it was but first I thought maybe the coil was soldered to it and then I was worried about that because if that's the case you would either need I think a machine shop I'm not sure leave your comments below if that's what you would need but to fix this to uh, clean it all up so you get no rub when you put the next one in That's it. 
So we did. We literally melted the whole coil inside here and wrapped it around Yeah, we 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 rewired this bad boy. Destroyed. You destroyed that. But the spider looks fine. Spider still works no problem. No heat or wear there. It was just the bottom of the coil. Now I'm going to try and clean all this up. Uh, it's trying to see which way this went. That way I can make sure I'm not going to have an issue with taking this off and cleaning this. I'm just trying to grab some of the wire because there's a wire I can see right here. Oh, a wire I can see right here. Find out which ones I gotta pull first because these will all come off nicely and untangle from inside here. have that many wires in here that snapped off. Well, she's coming out somewhat nicely so far. A little twisted in here, some of them. But looks like we're okay. Perfect. As you see, that all just comes out nicely now. No damage. <laughs> Beauty. We're good. So, <laughs> that's how much of my coil snapped off and burnt out. So, very cool. Well, I guess it's not cool, but she's good. So, we're just going to clean that up. Make sure we get any of the debris out of there. And it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean. So there you have it. An ACCA basket and motor. I'm debating if I want to take this bad boy right off of here and do it the right way. Um, Etc. So that's what a HCCA looks like. Taking apart. Again, let's see if we can get some good light in there. Not really. But she's clean. I'm happy with it. There's the chip I did on the last part, but the rest of it turned out no problem when I was going around with it. So I would recommend you use a thing if you're going to keep your speaker the same color. As you can see, it didn't do it on there. I just got the last one. So definitely don't use a piece of metal. Anyways, so there you have it. Enjoy uh, the video. And hopefully uh, you guys follow on uh, me redoing a, uh, a color. I'm not sure which one yet.